Good day, fellas. This is your daily dose of skill, and I was thinking what to give you for today. Some kind of old school tank, which uh, people used to complain about the gun accuracy, which would be the budget. I believe, right? So budget back in the day used to be extremely useful tank. Not like we can say today when we have projector. Or we had a proper projector, TVP in a way. And you know, when tier 10 light tanks uh, um, came into the game, budget kind of lost uh, his uh, value in a way, right? Because you do not have the car as um, as light tanks do, uh, but you can spot in a way. And in the same time, you have a trollish gun. So what happened with the 1.10 patch, fellas? We have a new equipment which we are going to use on the budget, which is uh, improved rotation mechanism. What that means? That means it's pretty much adding to the stabilizer, right? Some percentage, and you are um, and you are uh, a bit quicker with a budget as a tank itself. So I I must admit, fellas, I can't wait until we are going to test the gun with this vehicle so instead of uh, more rambling let's go into the action shall we maybe budget is going to be great once again and also one more thing fellas which i want to say for tomorrow more likely i repeat more likely you are going to get the equipment videos uh, or equipment video um, it's going to be my suggestions uh, what you can use i will show you different builds and you can decide um, what do you want to go for because only one person can make a decision and it is you it's going to be informative um, video right but in the end of the day you are going to say what you want to go for do you want to go as a spotter light do you want to go as a damage making light because to be fair with you fellas i believe every single um Everyone understands there is different light uh, tank players which is doing damage or which is trying to spot and so on. So this is quick information for you. And obviously, fellas, if you want to um, motivate us with the Kylers, feel free to leave that like. Feel free to leave the comment. What do you think about the current budget? And by the way, this thing is quick. This thing is quick. Okay, that's nice. So yeah, if you want to show the support in this way, feel free to send a big wet kisses uh, and we appreciate you fellas. I'm speaking from my behalf and from the Kyler's behalf. Okay, so first things first, what do we want to do over there fellas? We want to take the 8 line with the budget, we have definitely enough speed to play over there and we saw the 1390 which is going over there and you know what that means? The 1390 is going to have the best time of his life. Speaking about the best time of his life, as you can see, he is sitting in quite deep shithole over there. Oh, budget gun, holy bananas from banana land. Yeah, I see you got buffed. I see you got buffed quite a bit. Holy bananas, budget. Eh, dad, I am trying to make a video and I'm trying to make the tank to look good. Can you please bless me a bit? Because holy bananas, if with this kind of um, with this kind of play, we are not going to sell any budgets whatsoever. So, dad, god damn it, try to try harder, okay? Try harder. Oh, assisting damage. And one more thing which is definitely worth uh, to mention, fellas. Um, speaking about the budget nowadays, you can also uh, behave like a light tank in a way, right? Uh, because you are still, uh, you still have a decent view range and you still have very, very decent speed. So remember this thing, it's very, very important. Speaking about important things, this 3090 needs to get effed, okay? Because he's spotting our team and uh, we cannot allow him to spot our team, right? So yeah, this is very, very important. Next, what I want to do, I want to keep those guys spotted over there. That's very, very, very important. And my goal is to hit over five, uh, five and a half thousand with a budget nowadays, right? That's, uh, that's my goal, that's my dream, and that's what I'm aiming for. And right there, as you can see, holy shit, this guy scared me. Um, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to spot those mother trackers over there for obvious reasons, right? That's very, very important, fellas. I tried to hit him, uh, too bad I failed, but that's completely fine because we are farming this assisting damage like nothing, fellas. We are showing for the enemies who is the boss over there, who is the alpha budget in a way, right? So that's good thing. Also, once again, wait for this thing, fellas. Wait for this guy to die. He's going to die very, very soon. And after that, we can actually clip that Leo, which is playing around this area. At least that's what I want to believe, right? So let's do this. I still have a big... Um, Okay, look, I still love budget, okay? I 
still think this vehicle is beautiful and I think it is amazing, right? As a vehicle itself. So, yeah. Budget will always have the place in my heart. Speaking of the place in my heart, you see there is a Leo which decided to flank our team over there. He might think he did a great job, but reality is a bit different because he will try to run now, right? And we are going to say Zdarov. Leo is completely doomed over there. He cannot do literally anything. We hit him bloody three, two, two times. That's completely fine. And all we need to do, we need to join the heavy line over there and simply help our heavies to deal against the enemies over there, right? Um... Uh, so yeah, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, first battle is looking quite good. Obviously, once again, couple of shots missed and so on, so on. That's completely understandable. One more thing which I, which I definitely want to highlight, my friends. You cannot make a decision about the tank from the very first battle. It's just not how the things is looking like and this is not how the things is working, okay? That's very, very, very worth, uh, this is very, very important information, fellas. You simply cannot make a decision, tank is good, tank is bad, after um, the one battle, right? Hmm. You know what, Grille shot, so I kind of want to hit the Grille. And one fort is over there, good. Very nice clip, now we have a friend which is going, uh, which is going to um, help us and we are just simply running away like this. Now you might think, skill, what is the other plan which you want to do right there? So, I am going all the way around over there, right? Like this. And I want to approach them from behind. I have a hit clip because I decided not to load the 4 in the magazine. I decided to go with a 5, right? Because we don't have more standards. I would go with the standards to be fair with you, but that's completely fine. So what we are doing now, we are showing the dominance over there. And you know what? I'm not even going to hide right here. I'm just bursting him frontally like nothing. He is dead. That's good. Now another guy. He's dead. I said. I repeat. I repeat. I said he's dead. I demand refund, fellas. I demand refund. How dare you to miss so many shots? Okay. So once again, this is, I must admit my aim wasn't smooth enough, my aim wasn't very very good, so maybe this is the reason why. I want to love this tank, I want to make this tank work fellas, and everything, so you know, I, I am blaming my aim over there. Let's be clear my lovely friends, I am aiming my aim over there. Okay, this guy is not looking at us, we have a magazine, we are going for this guy like this, we are going with, for this guy like this, we are going for this guy like this, we are going for this guy like this, and plus on top of that to make it even nice, Wee! Um, you know fellas, you know, uh, it happens. Even for the best, I wanted to do a Fiji spinner move, like like this, you know, but it did not work too well. Anyways, by any means, great performance right there, amazing. Gun handling, to be fair, did not work at super duper hyper turbo epically, but in the same time, I haven't aimed too well myself, so once again, I can't, I can't complain too much uh, um, about the situation. Anyways, the main thing what I want to say, probably this is the right equipment to go with the budget. Obviously, there is another alternative option, you can replace ventilation for um, gun link drive to make the gun even more efficient, but I think... It is completely unnecessary. For example, in this map, I believe we can score extremely high. Skill, what do you mean you can score extremely high in this map? If you would pay attention over there, there is literally no lights over there. What that means, we, that means we can go into this position over there, which I highly recommend to take, no matter what is the price, right? Especially if you are a light tank player. And you can spot the field and you can do damage in the field, which I'm going to demo demonstrate for you in a bloody second. This is going to be a very, very, very nice play, obviously, if we are going to have enough people which is going to support us. Because now, as you can see, fellas, we have quite a bit of uh, guys, uh, quite a bit of medium tanks which is heading over there. But that's completely fine. Also, this 
position when you are going over there it's uh, it's risky thing okay it's risky for the biscuit because quite often you are getting out spotted while heading over there but since there is no light tanks i really doubt it's going to be the case this time so look at this we are pretty much perfectly in the bush right here. We are prepared to spot whoever is playing around this area or whoever is playing over there. Plus, if it's not enough, um, there is an angle of how we can shoot over there. Pay attention. I'm destroying this stand over there because we don't need it. And now we are simply waiting until someone is going to go like this. IS-7 with 2.6 thousand hit points. Oh my bananas from Banana Land. Now I need to focus, fellas. One shot. Mm -hmm. Two shots. Two shots. Uh -huh. Two shots. Uh, as usual, fellas, two out of four are there because one shot was wasted over there, but that's completely fine. How I7 can have... How I7 can have 2.6 thousand hit points, or maybe that's my, this is my eyes, which is, you know, saying skill. Uh, think what the flying F you are talking. Maybe those are my eyes. Co correct me in the comment section down below. Uh, did I saw 2.6 thousand hit points or not? Because my brain uh, could fart a bit too. Anyways, as you can see, IS7 over there, kaboom, and right in the bud hole. And right in the bud hole. Hi. With a budget, you still need to aim, right? The budget as a tank, I think it is still same, um, same um, derpy budget which uh, we used to have before. At least that's what I think. Anyways, pay attention over there. This is about the time to make a hardcore pressure like this. Why so? Because we can spot mother triggers which is sitting over there and we can score extremely high right there. So all we need to do, we need to make a hardcore pressure over there and those uh, those trash burn dead stars, grillers or however, whoever they have over there, all of them is going going to be unspotted if they are going to be unspotted we are going to score extremely high because once again we have a lot of guns over there which is sniping from the back and let's see tvp hi there having a good time me too i am enjoying myself quite a bit i hope you can say the same thing my friend uh hi uh-huh doesn't really matter fellas doesn't really matter because i can clip him even though i'm taking a bit for the team in the end of the day in my eyes it is uh, actually worth it or maybe it's not worth it anymore because this this 140 managed to slaughter me from here while those guys were sleeping no i failed Fellas, I failed my lovely friends. Usually this kind of performance uh, is working extremely well, but this time it didn't for some reason. I don't really know why, but it did not work as well as I expected. Maybe because I traded with a um, TVP, which uh, that was not the best thing. Or maybe because I left this uh, 140 alive over there instead of uh, going somewhere around this area and starting clipping him up on the butt, right? Either way. No complaints, no regrets. When we are scoring for um, like 4.7 thousand or for 5 thousand, I would call it a good game and we definitely cannot complain. Oh, how horrible that was. You know, score is good. Um, idea was good. Execution could be better. So I would get so much more use right there. Right? Um, taking the shot from Grilla also wasn't very, very good. Also, I have a feeling there was more of a sniper schnitzel, which I simply did not manage to spot. That's what I think. But oh well. What can you do? Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's teleport into the end of this battle and we are going to go for another one. The third uh, battle is going to be the charm and hopefully we will get more use than we got before, right? Skill, you are greedy. Yes, I am, fellas. And I love you for that. See you soon. And we are back, fellas. As you can see, we managed to win the battle. Hip, hip, hooray. Luckily, we had a great team which carried my... Uh, um, big baboonish butt, which is completely fine, fellas. You can't be on top all the time. You need to uh, um, accept that. Also, one more thing, fellas. Uh, tell me your opinion. What do you think about this setup as a equipment? Do you think it is a good way to play with a budget? Or do you think it is um, some kind of... Uh, uh, or do you think there is a better way to play with this beautiful thing? So, speaking about the experience, we are on the bottom. Speaking about the damage, we are top three. Which is completely fine. I'm not complaining, fellas. This could be be so much worse believe me very nice okay the last battle cross your fingers for me boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and let's try to have an amazing game 
Okay, what do we have here? We have the Seren Coast. Uh, that's completely fine as a map. I know exactly what I'm going to do. And I uh, fell in love with this position over there. There is a bush which is completely broken. So it's very, very nice to use. And in the same time, we can give early information for our team what is happening all over the place and if enemies are taking some kind of you know weird pressure through the middle we can actually spot them and so on so on plus from this position over there it's quite easy to react do we want to go like this or do we want to go um, back or do we want to go like this or you know this is quite a very 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 nice um quite very very nice the um, position right you can be flexible my friends so yeah anyways what we are going to do once again we will try to spot mother trackers over there speaking about the view range of the budget uh it's still uh, um it is still okay the view range of the budget 470 something meters without optics it's okay obviously if you really care about the view range probably you could uh, um probably boys and girls ladies and gents you could um use the optics but in my eyes it's completely unnecessary now by saying this bush is broken look this half of my side is open and this super conqueror is not spotting us whatsoever right that's quite weird position right and i believe you can see that it's looking extremely extremely weird over there but this bush is completely broken fellas so if you have chance to use it i would highly i repeat highly recommend to take it and simply outplay enemies which is playing around uh, the middle right because this super conqueror he had some kind of brave idea but in the end of the day he took one for the team uh if you are asking skill but how the bush can be broken probably this is something bad from our gaming side and they around they pretty much made this bush even though it's small on the map probably it's covering all this area over there or maybe this tree is working as a bush but uh, uh, I mean, you can look from whatever side you want, still half of the tank is uh, um, quite open in my opinion, right? But once again, it's only me. Maybe I'm the special one which uh, which do not understand what he's talking about, right? Could be very possible. Anyways, what do we want to do now? We want to be a bit more aggressive over there, right? We want to check out what the flying F enemies are doing. And I believe you notice that this poor, uh, um, this poor um, TVP which is going through the middle of the field right there, right? So what is going to be my plan? My plan is going to be to destroy him, right? Congratulations, you hit me uh, three times. Good job, buddy. Now it's my turn. Let's have conversation, okay? Conversation, mother tracker. And he is dead. Nice. Now, the worst thing of all this, when I made this kind of mistake and when I got ammo racked, right? Um, I need to survive the long reload time because I made a mistake. I needed to fix the track to save another 300 hit points of damage. And, you know, that was quite silly. Oh, well, what can we do? Not much. Now, look. What we need to what we need to do over there now i am thinking um can i support our e4 because they have two guns over there which we need to eliminate from the game right and we are thinking how to do this properly without taking too much of the of the risk right how we can do this without taking too much of the risk so how about that fellas if we are going to take this position over there right uh, and we will try to use this bush over there to spot either the Kranwagen or either the um, 140. This is, this is the goal for us. There is a very, very nice bush around this area which we can use for our, uh, for our purpose, right? And here we go. We are in the bush. This is exactly what we needed. Now... We will have our ammo rack back very, very soon. But once again, be patient. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's very, very important. As we still have full of the hit points. And once again, the trades from my side wasn't the best. wasn't the finest. And I deserve it what I deserve it. Right? And one fourth is over there. That's good. Now wait, 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 wait. I don't want to give my position away yet. And now. 
He shouldn't be able to spot me because I shot through the I shot through the tree, right? So tree pro, uh, gave me protection right here, or he gave me some extra camo. Now, what do we want to do? We want to reload once again to have a full magazine, and if we will need to approach the STB, right, we are going to do that. That's the main plan. As you can see, the main battle is over there, and the Kranwagen more likely is holding the angle towards the E4, and the STB is slowly but surely thinking about going for the E4. For, right, so that's very very important thing to mention. Anyways, speaking about the Grille fellas, looks like Grille is in the middle of the nowhere. So what that means for us? That means we could try to craft a bit better angle for Mr. Grille, and maybe it's going to be possible. Let's see. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it, fellas. Wait for it. He's sitting next to this rock, which is completely fine, right? So what we are doing right here, we are simply waiting until the Grille will pull back. Oh, speaking about pulling back one for the team, he is still safe from us. Not much what we can do about this, but we hit him hard once, right? Now we need to figure out, can we hit him once again? Pixel shot, oh my beautiful budget. Even with a minimum roll right there, it doesn't matter because we managed to hit him over there. Now look. The question is, what the flying F that mother tracker STB is doing? You know what? Meanwhile, I'm going to go on the reload while I'm considering my life uh, choices and why I'm trying to while I'm trying to figure out what the flying F this STB is doing. Our crown wagon is sitting in the shithole, and I believe that's completely understandable, right, fellas? Um, that's not the best thing, but it is how it is. And now I kind of want to be next to our E4S. Now you might think, Skill, why do you want to be next to your E4S? Because if he's going to get flying it from the STB, this is going to be game over for our E4. So I want to be close, but I don't want to take too much attention towards me. I believe that makes sense what I'm saying right here. So wait, wait fellas, wait. And our E4 is getting banged by everyone over there pretty much. And he throw it and he derp it pretty much all his shots. Such a bad play by our E4. That was quite horrible. Okay. Not much what we can do about this. We are just accepting the fate. We are just accepting the situation. And we are trying to craft a bit different angles right there. Look. STB is going to be a problem and I am trying to figure out how STB is going to uh, to play this battle. If I would be STB probably I would make a pressure like this, right? So if STB will make a pressure like this, what will happen over there? He will go uh, into, into the middle of the road, right? And this is exactly what I want to see. So wait for it, wait for it fellas, wait for it, be patient. We are losing this battle and we want to have a bit better score than we have yet. Okay. Patience. Uh -huh. STB is making pressure like this. Okay, what we can do, we can try to kill the crown wagon and STB right here if everything will go well for us. Good. Ay ay ay, the same Grille did not uh, um, did not move it from his position and he got the shot literally from the same angle over there. That was quite unfortunate. Okay, not much what we can do about this, but we managed to craft solid 4.4 thousand right there. The shittest trade which I have done over there was against the TVP, but I really doubt I could I could do something different. I mean, let's think about it. I'm down to one shotable for the for the um, uh, for the Grille pretty much. Or uh, let let it be. We are not down to one shotable for the Grille. If I'm leaving those guys to die and I'm going like this, I might find Grille. Grille will hit me one for the for the team. I will be down to fartable. Then I need to deal with a 430 UNS to be over there and plus Badger, right? So yeah. Uh, that was quite um, quite sad uh, story for us. But A, we tried to make a batch at work. The first battle was humongous. The second game was so-so. The third battle, in my opinion, we played quite well. And we got as much use as we could right there. Um, be my judge, fellas, and judge my gameplay. Say, uh, say what do you think about the last battle. And... Uh, 
yeah, that's it. Defeat fellas. Unfortunate. Anyways, top by the damage. That was a good one. I haven't spotted too much in this battle because I simply thought it's not going to be a good idea and probably it wasn't fellas. So, speaking about our performance with a budget. Four and a half thousand damage. Two thousand assisting damage, uh, which is bringing us to six point five thousand combined. You tell me fellas, budget is looking good or budget is looking bad? Thank you so much for watching, that was your daily dose of skill and I hope you enjoyed yourself together with us. See you soon, peace.